In this section, I want to talk about a scenario in which you do not apply IPv6 configuration to all your network. Actually, my network is pure IPv4. I do not have any IPv6 address assigned to any interface in my network. But uh, I have bought an application and I have installed an application in this part of my network that uses IPv6 for its communication. So I need to have IPv6 in this part of my network that is connected to Ethernet 6 of router 3. Okay? Now, for some reason, I need to have this application in router 4 part. So these two sections of my network need to communicate so that this application can have its proper communication. So I don't want to assign IPv6 addresses to my network. I don't want to take the burden of configuring IPv6 routing protocols. I just want to have these two parts of my network communicate to each other using IPv6. How can I do that? That is achieved using tunneling. And the first type of tunnel that I want to talk about is the best type of tunnel that you can configure on your network. So I'm going to configure GRE tunnel. And this GRE tunnel can route any type of traffic through itself. And IPv6 is one of those types of traffic. So how can I do that? Let's go to router 3 first of all. And on router 3, I want to go to interfaces and show you that I have a loopback 0 interface here that can reach the loopback 0 interface of router 4. And I can test it using a ping. So I try to reach to 4444 from 3333. And if I start the ping, you can see that my IPv4 communication is working just fine. So I can use this loopback 0 as the source of my tunnel. And of course, I do not need to use this type of interface. I can use any type of interface as long as there is connectivity. But loopback 0 is the best thing that I want to use. Right now, I go and click on this plus sign, select the GRE tunnel. And as you can see, there is a GRE 6 tunnel that I don't want to talk about this right now. I just want to select the GRE tunnel. That's quite OK. The name is GRE tunnel. That's OK for me. I can select the local address. This is optional. For example, 3333. And I want to assign a remote address that is mandatory. This is 4444. And I know that the ping between these two works just fine. OK. Click on OK, and that's it. My configuration is done. I only need to assign IPv6 address for this GRE tunnel. So I go to IPv6 and select address. Click on this plus sign and assign any address that I want to have. For example, 2001 34 double clone 3 slash 64. Okay? Click on OK. IPv6 inter uh, Ethernet 6 interface has an IPv6 address assigned to that. So I click on this plus sign and select Ethernet 6. And I can assign, for example, 2001 uh, 3 3 double clone 3 slash 64. This is my address on Ethernet 6. So I click on OK and that's it. Now, I need to create the other end of my tunnel. This tunnel has two ends, so I need to create the other end on router 4. Here, I click on Interfaces, click on this plus sign, select the GRE tunnel. The name is not important. The source is 4444, and the remote address is going to be 3333. This is my GRE tunnel. Click on OK. Now I need to go to IPv6 addresses. Here I assign an IPv6 address in the range of the other side. The other side was 2001, 34, double colon 3. Now this is going to be 4, slash 64. It's assigned to GRE tunnel. OK. Click on OK. Now, let's go back to the other side and make sure every configuration is done right now. Yes, this is 
for GRE tunnel. Click on OK and now this side of my tunnel should be able to ping the other end. So I go to Tools, select Ping and try to ping 2001 34 double colon 4. Click on the Start and you can see that the tunnel is working just fine. Now that my tunnel is working, I need to have some sort of routing. And because I only have one subnet on the other end, I will use an static rod. But you can use uh, dynamic routing protocols as well. I go to IPv6 and select routes. And I click on this plus sign and I tell this router to reach to 2001 uh, 33 double colon slash 64. It needs to go through 2001 34 double colon 3. This is 34. Okay, now I click on OK and everything is working just fine. I need to assign the same static route on the other side. So I go to router 3 and go to IPv6 routes here. Click on this plus sign. Add 2001 four four double colon slash sixty four and I tell this router to use two thousand one thirty four double colon four to reach to this destination. So I click on OK and it is working just fine. Now I need to test my configuration. So I go to ping and select the ping two thousand one four four four. Click on I start and you can see the ping is working just fine.